Hey there, this is Angie. I'm just doing a little video to show anybody who's interested because I couldn't find any other videos on it, how I'm using the Mini Pro to, uh, and using it with a Microsoft Teams live event. So I'm gonna show you how I have it all set up and it worked really sweet. We just had one and it was great. So uh, I have the Video Pro. Um, I also have two cameras set up to it. Um, a laptop and then one mic that I brought over here. I had one mic down at the end of the, of the table because that's where all the presenters were. Uh, we also had one remote person that came in uh, during the meeting. Um, so I have my one camera, which is a Nikon GX85. Um, I've got the HDM out running out to uh, number two in the back here. I have my GH4 HDMI coming out and running to my camera one here. And then I've got my laptop running PowerPoint and it's running from HDMI out to number three in. And then I have my HDMI out going to a monitor. And then I also have the um, the control, the USB out, and it's going out, and it's going out, and it's going out, and into the USB of our computer. And then the computer thinks that uh, it's the webcam, so our camera is the black magic design, and then the microphone is also the black magic design. Um, and then throughout the presentation, we had, I had mic, uh, the mic on. I did turn over to the camera mics during it because someone said they didn't have sound, but now that I'm looking at my microphone, it was on, everything was working. I think it was just one person. So now I wish I would have stayed with uh, the microphone on instead of switching over to the cameras, but what do you do? Um, and then what we do is I go from having a wide shot to having one camera that gets every person that's kind of presenting so I can go from a wide shot to kind of a one shot and then they have a controller and each person has uh, their slides up on the PowerPoint. Um, I put that up and then they can see their slides up on the screen so uh, they can move it themselves. Um, I think that's about it. Um, it's all worked really well um, and also the, the headphones have to come out of the monitor, which is kind of a pain because when we have videos, <coughs> um, it's no one else can hear it except for me. And so that's kind of a pain, but you know what? It's it's one of few things that, that I don't like about the Blackmagic. The Blackmagic has been awesome. Um, I also want to tell you that I did go into the Blackmagic software before this forum. Um, my Microphones were super loud, like as in loud hum, like maybe you were just getting phantom power or some kind of problem. Um, if you go into the audio settings on your you know, laptop or computer and go into the, the um, software on that, you can go in and change the microphone inputs from microphone to line and that fixed everything. So the microphones today were super clear, everybody could hear them, it was great. So that might be a trick uh, that someone might wanna use. Um, if you have any questions or comments, put them down below and hopefully this was helpful to you. Thanks, bye.